All right, so I'm heading out today on what I like to call the loop. Basically, it's just a nice ride from where I live. Pretty flat from here on out, and then you start climbing up a steep elevation, windy roads. It's a real nice ride. I bet that's windy as shit. I'm gonna have to go get some fabric and make a fucking dead cat. I need a dual sport helmet, that's what I really need. Cause I got a big ass head. I think my helmet's either next large or even depends on the company. Some of them are their fucking 2XL. Oh look! Another fucking Mustang. But he thinks he's a shit. Yeah, it's another nice day in good old western Pennsylvania. Try to get a decent ride in before the weather turns to shit, which it's going to because it's summertime and it seems like all it wants to do is get hot, thunderstorm. Get hot, thunderstorm. Else, oh, remember my first time. So the problem with riding up here in western Pennsylvania is we have a short season. I mean, now granted, it's not that short, but usually prime riding conditions start in May. And then depending on what Mother Nature wants to do to us, we could probably get all the way out into late September, October time frame, maybe even November. Shit, there's one guy that lives beside me. He rides all year round. He doesn't give a shit. There could be snow in the ground. Dude's gonna ride. And then there's these fucking things that you see all over the road here. The infamous Pennsylvania tar snake. This is the fix to road cracks. And you will find it on almost every single primary and secondary road in Pennsylvania. They line the centers of them. They line the seams, and just every year they seem to go around and they just fucking fill all the cracks with these tar snakes. They're tar, it's what it is. And sure, it, it fixes a problem that they have, but it also creates one for people that are on two wheels. Because when it gets hot, the tar starts to become gooey. And you gotta watch, you, some, you go around a turn too sharp, you hit one of them fucking tar snakes and then you're gonna start skidding out of control. In fact, it's actually one of the things they talk about in the motorcycle safety course, so yeah. The good old fucking tar snake. But that's the problem again, living in the Northeast, just one of those things you gotta, gotta think about whenever you're riding. One of the nice things about riding up here is that we have a lot of hilly, windy roads. So you get out on these roads, and if you can break away from traffic, it can be a lot of freaking fun. And that's why I like to take this route. A lot of windy roads, uphill, downhill. In fact, the second half of it, you're practically climbing half of a mountain, but it's fun. It's a fun place to ride. It's just a nice cruise. Oh great, a fucking coal truck. That's the last thing you want to get behind up here. I've had one of those things destroy my windshield on an interstate, so I'm sure it'd feel really good getting pelted on a bike. I'm going 70 miles an hour and so is this fucker. And he's, ow! And he's fucking loaded down too. I don't get it. Shit plant! But yes, that guy, how his day's going, if you say shit, he probably doesn't think it's amusing. See, this is why I love riding on a weekday. Because there's hardly any traffic out compared to you come through this place on a Saturday or Sunday. It's jam-packed. You're going to get behind some slow ass that wants to go just at the speed limit up this hill. And that's not fun. That's boring as shit. Oh, freaking dual sport. What's up, dude? Yeah, 
You know, I really love taking this little route that I take because it's just, it's nice, it's relaxing. You get to do a couple turns. But I only like to do this route during the day, whenever it's light out. Because out here is like the freaking wild kingdom. And at nighttime, especially on these stretches, you're gonna be dodging deer. But yeah, you will dodge deer like, like a part-time job riding at night around here. Anywhere you want to turn would be super awesome. Just saying. Turn left. Turn right. Motherfucker. That sucks ass. Hopefully I don't get hit by that shit. And that's the way I'm going to fucking end up going too. So, yes, thank you. That's right, go to church. Jesus needs you. That is ugly. Shit, I should just fucking turn around and go back the other way. The way I came, it's probably nowhere near as bad. That way just looks like fucking hell. You know what? Ah, shit. If it doesn't... Yeah, I'm not fucking going that way. Eat shit. Let's just do a little fucking turn around action up here. Anybody coming? Well, I'll have to show you the full loop another time because I am not gonna keep going down that way because the way that route takes me back I will literally be driving right underneath that shit and I'm just not in the mood to get fucking soaking wet today because I'm just not. Let's see if this guy waved to me. He looks older, he's on a Harley, let's see. Holy shit, he waved! And usually if I'm on this and I see a group of Harleys or cruisers coming my way, I pretty much know that I'm not getting away from those dudes. So I just don't even worry about it. Chances are none of them probably have a helmet on anyways. Or they have those little tiny half helmets. I tried that once on my Harley. I tried to wear a half helmet and I just look more like a fucking douchebag than ever. Oh, turn signal on. I'm notorious for that. My first bike was a Yamaha. And I got pretty good at hitting it to turn it off, canceling it out after I made a turn, and, and, and that was fine. And then I moved up and bought myself a Harley Electroglide police bike. And Harleys have the left and right turn signal on each side and they also cancel out so whenever you make the turn it turns off so you never have to worry about it and then I come out and I jump on this thing and I'm like Boop, turn turn signal on left hand turn and I'm driving down the road and I'm like ah god I'm such a fucking noob excuse me sir with your sweet sweet trailer let's get down the hill before we get soaking wet Every once, I even took a look at the radar too and there was nothing around. Like everything that's supposed to rain today was supposed to come later this fucking afternoon. But <clears throat> that's the problem here in Pennsylvania. It gets nice and hot out or and humid, nice and sticky. And then these fuckers form. And it looks like it's just gonna dump at any second now. But hopefully I'm right on the edge of it and if me and uh, old father time here towing his fucking 
trailer can get up this hill, I can probably get ahead of this, or at least bypass it. Oh my god! God! Man, that deer stinks. Holy shit. Oh, move over. Tree. Oh, we're... We're just about in the clear. Literally on the edge of this damn thing. Alright, we're going. 